Hello everybody and welcome back to Neptune's Rings. We're here again today with Kerbal Space Program where we're going to be having some fun with space planes. Or, I'm not going to say space planes because we're definitely not going to be getting to space today. I was uh, fiddling around and trying to make one. And I'm going to tell you all now, I'm, I'm not good at making planes in this game. I It's not where my interest lies. Um, so, just going to give you all that disclaimer now, but I do know that one of the first things you want to do when you do um, finally make your planes is upgrade the runway. Uh, first we gotta get rid of this guy. Cover you. And I know I said I probably, I wouldn't use, um quick saves and quick loads but I might for this one because I guarantee there will be explosions and mishaps and that would be kind of a shame if we lost Jebediah to explosions and mishaps. Of course I could just go over here and recruit a new pilot which I think is actually what I'm going to do. And we will get to building our plane. Um, go ahead and load this one up. Mm, not this one. This one didn't work very well. And this one has no wings. Okay, so we're gonna need that to be controlled. By that perfect. This is just gonna do yaw. This is going to do roll. Okay. So first thing for this little plane that I think this is the one that I built. Um, we're going to move these wings up a little. So they're actually flat level. Let's take a look at the distributions, the center mass, and the center of lift. Ideally you want those to be pretty square on with each other something like that and you know what we actually I think we're gonna make this a little bit longer a coupling payload dynamics structure where is it structural We're not going to need more fuel. We have plenty of fuel. We're going to get the engines on now. We're going to need fuel tanks for them. Do you remember which one is the right fuel tank? This one. Juno engine. They go with our lift straight through our center of mass. And we're actually going to drain this. Oh, we want that one in. We want to drain this fuel tank. Try and move our center of mass back a little bit. And then we're going to need the air intakes for these. There we are. Nice and good. And we're going to want to try to bring our center mass back just a little bit more. Actually, you know what we might do instead? No, oh, we'll work with this for now. We're going to put some science. Not that, not that. This would fit in line. This would fit in line. Like that. You know what? We're actually going to probably. We're going to. I don't know if it works, but we're going to try to deploy some science around Kerbin. Look at that. One for an experiment. Another one. And another experiment. 
we'll see how that works as well as let's go ahead and try to uh, science scanning arm put some mystery goos on here maybe some thermometers and some barometers and we'll see where this gets us let's go give it a quick little test run and we'll see how it does I honestly don't know what's gonna happen um however while we're at it I'm going to put a couple parachutes on cuz I don't know oops I don't know that I trust myself to land this and put them right about the center of mass of course that center of mass is gonna put it a little bit farther back that's fine let's uh, see if we get takeoff Not. Like I said, not very good at space planes. So I think it's happening is that these are too close to the body, so the thrust is bouncing off of all of this and not allowing it to get through. So, in response to that. This has been my solution generally. These are the wings we just had, wasn't it? I think these are the wings that we just had. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you attach to the ends of them like I would like. But, let me turn on our. Can attach to the ends of these wings. I think about that is they angle slightly inwards, I think. Don't know if y'all can tell, but slightly angled inwards. I think that's better. That looks about right. Of course with this we don't have any control on these wings so we have put some ailerons elevons on and these are just going to control pitch and we'll see how this one goes this one should work okay and Parachutes, because I always forget that. There we go, see, it's already working. Let's move the parachutes to another. I said to disarm. Cut the chute. That's slightly. Um, oh, okay, don't, don't, no touchy movements. Ah. Yeah, as you can see, planes. Make sure we get the staging right. That's also very important. There you go. This. Okay, this should work now. Just have to be gentle on the controls. 
I think a pro big problem is also the way I have these wheels set up right here. They're not the most stable configuration. Don't know why we drift off though. Okay, these wheels are not going to be allowed to steer. That should help. Can only go straight. Might help to turn off the SAS as well. That way there's nothing trying to direct us any direction but straight. See, I don't know why we're turning. Three, six, four, five. Okay, we're going to sit these guys in a little bit more old school. Probably the wheels that we should be using, these guys. Let's turn off the angle snap. Put these guys right about here. Just need two of them. A little more out. Up there. That should give us a nice wide stable. Take off. Let's see how this goes. Okay, staging's correct. Let's give it a shot. Let's not turn on SAS right now. Of course, we're sitting very, very low, so once we take off, we're going to want to be careful. Alright, this is pitch. This is pitch. Okay, wait. This is supposed to be roll. There we go. Much more stable. Let's just see what we, if we have what it takes to lift off. Oh, we do! Look at that. Ooh, ooh, okay. See, and this is why I, um. Oh, I didn't. We're not supposed to be using Jebediah for one, but this is why. Said for this one in particular, we're not going to be um, stingy on our quick loading or reverting or anything. We're just gonna try to get our plane working and go do some some science. We'll just have some fun with explosions, apparently. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, we're gonna get up to nice good speed and then we're gently gonna feather it up. <clears throat> yeah, I remember to adjust this for roll. <clears throat> Sorry since we've not been back to the the hangar to actually adjust that in the in the crafts controls there we go come on come on there we go nice and easy let's throw it up just a bit more wow 
Why are we doing that? Why are we doing this? I mean, it's not the worst plane I've ever built. Hope no future employers ever see this, though. I promise I can do much better in real life. I think the problem's gotta be with the mounting of the engines. Because everything else is symmetrically placed along the body. Unless it's you trying to steer. Stop that. Okay, don't do that though. Oh god. Put the nose down, and we're not going to recover this. Okay, that's a good uh, test. I thought my engines were off. What was I making? What is that? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's go and see what uh, we can fix. not quite right. Okay, let's um... Let's pretend that didn't happen. So I'm gonna grab these as a whole. I'm gonna try and make sure they're straight. Just looking at them now, it doesn't appear that they are. So that would be my bad. like that I think that looks about right Yeah, we can go ahead and call that street. Okay, let's see what else. We gotta make these roll only. And turn steering off for that. Let's put on some more elevons. Actually, no, we just want that to roll. Yeah, let's give this another shot. <laughs> zoom in real nice and close, make sure we take us off nice and gently. Picture perfect. Okay. It's appearing to be much more stable this time around. 
a slight drift direction which is pretty expected why okay well we're not flying with SAS I don't know why it wants to keep on tilting like that. There's, everything's greatly attached, like symmetrically attached, so there shouldn't be anything that's causing a force imbalance that I'm aware of. All the mass should be equally distributed. Okay, we're doing this again. Hey guys, welcome back. I've managed to uh, land my plane with minimal casualties. To the plane, that is. Um, let's observe this mission. It can only be observed externally by a well, I don't know why it's going backwards up the mountain. That's slightly concerning to me. that there. Let's go get the rest of the, the science data or the experiments. No, I'm not sure I packed enough um, solar power. We have two panels out. There's need two power. Oh no, I did. I did. It's still very concerning to me that uh, the plane is continuing to back its way up the mountain. The engines are turned off, like you would you would hear them. Maybe it's a and a loot nope, that's definitely a mountain. Interesting. Tail. <laughs> He's 
trying his best. I'm mostly concerned with this little weather station. This will get us some good uh, weather data so we'll know what our launch windows are looking like. Now let's go and see if we can uh, bring Jebediah home. Okay, let's see. This is going to be hard because as I said earlier, there was minimal casualties. Minimal meaning I lost the air intake from my other engine. I don't know if it's necessary since I have this other one. Looks like it's not. The one engine will feed them both. Okay, so let's see if we can gently take up off from here. Okay, now we're down an engine. And a landing leg. Well, I guess um, Ernie Kerman here is going to be our new... Um, staff for this weather station make sure that we um, don't miss any of those curb and storms that are so dangerous wow okay well hope you all enjoyed this uh, playing around with little planes I think in future episodes we'll, we might fiddle around with them a little bit more do some space tourism um, can I recover the vessel from here I can interesting um, so I wasn't trying necessarily to come home but well, at least now he gets to come home, so that's good. Get our science out of it. I didn't get the, the science for being in the mountains, but that's fine. But as I was saying, I think in the future we'll probably do some uh, more planes to do... Um... No. Um... Maybe not. Usually there's some contracts for like ferrying people around uh, Kerbin or like getting science from around Kerbin. So we'll see if those come up, and if so, we'll play around with them, as well as, um, as we get more science, we'll unlock some more of these more advanced, um, plane parts. Um, we're gonna need that one if we ever want to make a space plane. Turbo shaft engine. Oh yeah, there was an update recently, now you can do, like, actual propellers and stuff, so we can make helicopters. So maybe we'll make one of those, too, in the next episode. That sounds fun. Just fiddle around with that. As I was saying, we'll, uh, light duty rotor. We'll, um, we'll probably fiddle around with some more planes and eventually make a space plane. Um, well, at least we'll try to make a space plane. But as for now, I hope you all have enjoyed. This has been Neptune's Rings in Carol Space Program. Bye!